There is no doubt that the best food for babies is breast milk. However, not all parents, especially in cases of surrogacy or adoption, have an option for breast milk. According to WHO, World Health Organization, globally only one in three babies gets a required breast milk in the first six months. This is where the significance of North Carolina-based startup BioMilk lies. Currently, it is developing human milk outside of the body. How did the startup zero in on the idea? It was first suggested by Leela Strickland, co-founder and chief science officer of BioMilk. It was first suggested by Leela Strickland, co-founder and chief science officer of BioMilk in 2013. She had heard about the world's first lab-grown burger. A cell biologist, she thought about using the same technology to culture human milk producing cells. Instead of breast milk, many parents rely on formula. According to Strickland, a formula can satisfy a lot of the nutritional requirements, but it cannot replace the complexity of human milk. She goes on to say that Biomilk's product comes closer to the nutritional profile of breast milk when compared to formula. It is still debatable. Team Biomilk creates its product from cells taken from the human breast tissue and milk. It is donated by women in the local community who get a target gift card in return. Then Biomilk grows the cells in flasks, feeds them nutrients and incubates them in a bioreactor which recreates the environment in a breast. Here the cells absorb more nutrients and secrete milk components. The product needs three to five years to hit the market. It is not an easy task for Strickland. First, a startup has to grow mammary cells at a larger scale, that too at a lower cost. The most challenging aspect is to convince regulators that it is safe to consume. Since lab-grown human milk product is a new category, it will be more difficult, says Strickland. To know more such informative news, do watch and subscribe to charmline.com. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn and Twitter. Until we are back with yet another inspiring story, stay tuned.